<laughs> Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. Ugh, itchy arm Tano. And it's time for a weekly track roundup where I give you guys my thoughts on a lot of the songs that have dropped over this past week, whether I love them or hate them or feel somewhere in between. They're all linked down below, along with a, a, a hot link to our sponsor, good people over at The Ridge, still making these awesome, nifty, sleek, and sexy metal plated wallets that fit nicely in that front pocket. You hear that? You hear that? That's hard. Uh, sorry, that was a little, it's probably a little loud. <laughs> link down below, promo code MELON, 10% off your order. That's all you got to know. Also, our turntable lab link is down there. We get, uh, get some kickback from that. Our uh, Patreon page is down there as well if you want to get some extra bonus monthly content and support us in the process. And here are the worst tracks of the week. There are quite a few. This was... Um, a bit of a busy week for songs that I didn't quite care about. Uh, we have, uh, sorry, care for, care for, care for. Uh, not, not quite my thing. Uh, first off, we have a new one from John Bellion. I feel it with Burna Boy. Uh, awful mix on this track. Actually kind of grating, honestly. Uh, Burna Boy on the track is fine, but the uh, songwriting is horrible, and it just kind of feels like more... Uh, popified Disney stuff. I, I don't know what it is with John Bellion. Like every single song he comes out with, it sounds like a bad song off of a Disney soundtrack. And that is also the case for this new one over here. I don't feel it, actually. Uh, we have a new one from Alt-J. And unfortunately, this is kind of like a really um, awkward return for the band. Uh, it does start off okay at first with, I guess... Um, you know, kind of a slow, dramatic, lumbering beat, but then from there, the song feels like kind of a mess. Uh, some of the vocals aren't really all that great either, uh, and I have no idea what it is with this, like, mid-2000s emo pop cover art for this uh, uh, single. I really don't. Uh, we have a new one from Gunna and Future, Too Easy. It's uh, got some of Gunna's worst lyrics ever. The the dick down her throat uh, where, where don't breathe line is horrible. And, and it sounds like he says therapeutic instead of therapeutic. Uh, and, and, and it doesn't feel like he says it just because he's trying to get it to like rhyme with the previous bar. <laughs> like it, it's, it's uh, not great. It's quite horrible. Honestly, it's a very badly written song. The future uh, feature is uh, uh, pretty over the top, though. He he gives a pretty good performance, but outside of that, it's uh, just all sorts of terrible. Uh, we have a new one from Guns N' Roses here. Hard School. How many years has it been since anybody in Guns N' Roses should be anywhere near a school? Please stop. And, and much less their fans. Uh, this This is not it. And it's also just like badly performed hard rock it's cringe it's terrible we're, we're, we're done for a good time call 1-800 why would you call an 800 number for a good time it, it makes no sense this is awful all right moving on a new one from giving on for tonight i have no idea why this sounds like a ripoff of uh, sam smith's stay with me but it does and it's it's not a good one so i'll leave it there uh, and we have a new one from elton john with charlie puth on the track as well, After uh, after All is the title of it. Um, look, honestly, I couldn't even really tell you whether or not the, uh, uh, the tune on this one was all that bad because I couldn't really pay attention to it or focus on it because of the uh, effects and the auto-tune on uh, Elton John's voice and Charlie Puth's voice is just so distracting, so horrible, it makes them sound like freaking robots, it doesn't even sound like humans singing. Uh, it's terrible and, and really just like kind of ruins the whole thing, in my opinion. Uh, we have a new one from DeBaby with Lil Wayne on it. Um, Wayne verse is mid instrumental is mid hook is horrible. And while I do sympathize with some of the content that DeBaby is bringing in his verses, it seems like at this point, his entire reasoning behind putting this track out is to. I don't know, sort of get people back on his side after just like, you know, all of the negative headlines and everything. And, and now he wants to, you know, people to sort of like see him as, um, you know, somebody who's been through a lot. And certainly, you know, he most likely has been. Um, but, you know, you could have gone through a lot, but also still sort of be a jerk or, you know, exemplify jerk behavior uh, from, from which uh, he has shown, you know, no, no, like real uh, apologetics for. So, eh, whatever. 
All right, we have a new one from Coldplay and BTS, which is, uh, look, I'm sure the fans are loving the shit out of this. I don't. I, I think it's quite generic. It's not really the, the fireworks that uh, I think a collaboration on this level should be. Just not really anything special in my opinion. It's very bland. It's very average. It's very meh. All right, let's move on to the uh, <laughs> meh tracks. The Coldplay track is even more meh than anything I'm about to show you. But... Um, Look, I wanted to shout these tracks out. You guys might uh, dig them more than me. Here they are. We have a new one from an uh, interesting crossover over here, Token and Rico Nasty. It's an okay banger, but still goes over much better than I think uh, anyone would have guessed, given the music that both of these two have both, you know, pl like put out uh, solo-wise, you know, like respectively in the past. Uh, High Heels is the name of this one. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, just like kind of a, a straightforward banger. And, uh, and and again, like Rico and Token kind of complement each other better than, than you know, most people would have guessed. Uh, we have a new one from Parquet Courts over here, Black Widow Spider. I think the performance in the vocals on this one is just like a tad bit too awkward. The throwback psych rock uh, vibe and direction is kind of cool, kind of cute, but I think uh, the execution leaves something to be desired. Uh, we have a new one from uh, Cupcake, Marge Simpson, which is as ridiculous as the cover art here <laughs> implies lyrically anyway. I think she didn't really go far enough like instrumentally and the pacing of the song is a little uh, too slow in my opinion. Uh, we have uh, J. Cole and uh, Joyner Lucas as well. Cole gives a passionate performance on the back end of this one, but instrumental mid, uh, Joyner Lucas performance on the front end mid, and the whole like focus of the song is like, just treat your lady right. Um, don't be a fuck boy, which I, I feel like these two don't really shed any new light on that topic. You know what I mean? Um, just kind of seems like a, you know, a little bit of a tired song concept in my opinion. And uh, we have a new one from Idris Elba with Lime Cordial. And it's a, it's a groovy track with some funky rhythms. There's even a portion of it that sounds like a gorilla, like a gorilla song or some shit. It's out there, man. It's very poppy and fun and tongue in cheek. I have no idea <laughs> where the hell any of this shit is coming from. I mean, you know, Elba's come out with his uh, fair share of music in the past. And uh, obviously, you know, he's collaborating with a. Uh, uh, artists who have uh, come out with stuff as well. So, you know, it's, it's not like everybody here is making music out of the blue, but uh, the fact that we have this crossover and it has resulted in the tune that it did, it, it's still kind of an amazing uh, surprise. And uh, you should try it out just out of sheer curiosity, honestly. All right. We also have a new one over here from Disclosure. It's uh, groovy, it's linear, it's straightforward, but also kind of skeletal and basic as well. I think sort of a... a uh, very dry and, and very, um, I guess, like uh, a so-so track from Disclosure, in my opinion. Uh, we also have a new one from Chelsea Wolf. It's a, a very mellow and uh, brooding acoustic number, Green Altar. Give it a try. And here are the best tracks of the week, the ones that uh, really stuck with me, really hit me. They are as follows. A new one from Yukika, a K-pop artist with a J-pop roots. And who has, uh, you know, got a really great, um, you know, disco flavored track over here. Great chorus, great singing, amazing bass work on this track as well. Loving You is the title. It's quite good. It's quite good. Give it a listen. Uh, we have a new one from uh, Princess Nokia with Young Baby Tate. It's a banger. Boys are from Mars. It's quite uh, sassy, funny, tongue in cheek, and uh, just all around uh, uh, fun listen. We have a new one from Logic Remix on the song Perfect with ASAP Ferg and... Lil Wayne, uh, everyone's verses are great. Uh, Ferg's flow is insane. Wayne's one-liners are on fucking point. Logic impresses on the front end. And, uh, you know, the the perfect beat and instrumental was uh, good to begin with. So, yeah, just a really good track all around. Hell yeah, Bobby. Thank you. Uh, we have a Julie Dworin of Eric's Trip fame. Uh, I Thought of You is the name of this new record that she has on the way and our first taste of it you gave me the key is a, a nice little lo-fi rocker with some fun swaying grooves and um i guess it's, it's a little more playful than julie's stuff typically is uh, we have a 17 minute version a massive 17 minute version with lots of guests 
of the song Say Her Name from Janelle Monet. It's powerful. It's immense. It's incredible. Uh, it's uh, pretty much, you know, like everything that I think a, a political statement like this song needs to be. Uh, hopefully all the names involved, uh, you know, kind of like just drive more attention to this track and the statement because it's uh, absolutely necessary, obviously. And we have uh, one from uh, Dorian Electra. It's a remix of the song Gentleman with Danny Brown on the uh, uh, remix with a short uh, little appearance as well, which is great. Awesome, uh, amazing uh, crossover. Never thought we'd see this uh, clash of worlds here, and it comes out great. Also, shout out to Dollywood on the uh, instrumental remix. It's uh, nuts. All right, we have uh, one from Deerhoof over here, new record on the way. Uh, this one over here, the title of this track is Scarcity is Manufactured, and there is a refreshingly like Latin groove and um, you know melody style on this track that I think uh, goes over really great. Uh, loving that, absolutely loving that about this track. And uh, yeah, it's just a wild, great performance, uh, uh, just like Deerhoof typically gives on, on any given record, honestly. Uh, we have a new one from Richard Dawson and Circle. This is a project that um, when I interviewed Richard a little while back on the Fantano channel, he teased toward this one and and talked about this project's like, you know, almost like folk and, and kind of proggy experimental pedigree. And on the song Lily over here, he, he was not lying. This is absolutely fucking <laughs> epic and insane. <laughs> Uh, it, it's a little weird. It's kind of odd jumping into it at first, but I, I got to tell you, I'm kind of impressed and excited to see uh, what exactly this uh, record turns into. And we have uh, Amber Mark over here, uh, record three dimensions deep. It's coming early 2022. And uh, the teasers so far have been fire. This one over here, what it is, is uh, also groovy, catchy, well-produced, uh, just very lush. And a great vocal performance as well. Amber is uh, killing it on these teasers and uh, very excited to hear this new record for sure, for sure. And uh, that has been the weekly track roundup, everybody. Those are all the tracks I want to point in your direction. Hopefully you got some good recommendations out of this video. And I will see you in the next one. Anthony Fantano, Weekly Tracks, forever. <laughs>